What is up guys, welcome to another video of Rainbow Six Siege Tips and Tricks. In today's video we'll be going through the map house and inside all the best defending spots and on the outside all the best attacking spots. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So for the first hiding spot if you want to do in, in, in the base of the map house. This is the laundry room, this is basically the basement, or consider the garage slash basement. So the best hiding spot you want to have, I mean you have the garage here, there's not much to hide in the garage, but what you can hide is, here will be a great place to hide, but I mean it's, it, it's, it's alright, I mean you can place down a shield here, but you're not necessarily hiding, you're more like taking cover. The best hiding spots to hide here, when down here, is basically behind the weight things here, which basically if you crouch, if you crouch, Go basically go prone, Clo lean. Basically, just um, put your legs, secure. put your legs together, so you don't have to. Your legs are not basically splitting, sticking out or whatever. This will be a great spot to hide here, or <clears throat> right here. Now, if you're def now, this these will be great spots spots to hide if you're basically defending something upstairs. Like let's say the hosh is upstairs, you can actually hide behind here, have someone else hide over here, have that person go up the stairs, try to sneak up behind them, shoot through here, shoot at them if they're coming through this entrance, or shoot at them through the stairs, quickly run down, run this way, and most of the time the players are going to say, oh, the guy's running, easy kill, let's go get him. While they come up, and they come through here, you pop up, you come around them, you flank them, and bam, you shoot them right there. So that's one of the best hiding spots to hide if you're, um, if you're basically... If you're basically defending secure the area or defending the hostage up on the first floor or second floor. If you're going to be, if you're defending something down in the basement, the best places to basically hide is either in this room, but you also got to be careful too that they're going to might be breaching from this door. Behind the weights here, see if you hide behind here, like, just enough, just try not to move too much, otherwise they will notice you. See, like if I was to enter through here... It's very difficult for actually for me to see you if you're if, if you're basically hiding through here because these weights here are blo are obscuring my vision. Also, another place is here. Just be aware that they do come in sometimes breaching through this wall, so do be aware that they may actually just come in straight through here. But even then, this kind of if they're breaching, let's see, can I make a hole here? Let's make a hole here. There you go. So if I was to come through here, not breach through here. See if. I will, might be able to see you, chances are I will be able to see you, but you might have a chance where they won't see you. So the best place to hide is here, and over here. Now this is down in the basement, or the garage, so there's not much to hide in here. I mean, considering it's a garage, there's not many places to hide down in the garage. It's basically open space, so do be aware that there are not a lot of hiding spots. Most people will kind of take these spots already, and you'll probably just have to be somewhere out in the open, like here, or, I don't know, behind the hostage, or behind this place. Even behind here, I mean, this is, it's all right, but do beware, they can actually shoot through this, that wall there and basically hit you on the other side. So that's basically one of the hiding spots down on the laundry room, laundry floor. Um, for now, let's go up to this first floor, which is basically the main dining room, and then we'll work our way up to the second floor. So on the sec on the first floor, basically, this is more like the second floor slash first floor. So on, for the first floor, or second floor, I did find this out, is that if you actually, if you, let's see if I can do this, there we go, there we go, this is a great hiding spot, see, if you're hiding here, just make sure you kind of lean so your legs are stuck together, if you're here, you got a clear view of right there, anyone coming into this room, so, you can shoot through there, anyone coming in through this door here is not going to notice, is not going to expect someone on top of the bookshelves, for example, if I was to, Let's see. I'm attacking right now. I'm attacking player, so that's why I don't break down these. So let's say I'm coming in, and I go through here. Your main attention is going to be on the target, so you're going to be like, bam. So I mean, it's not going to be totally open. You're going to be hitting this. It's going to make little tiny little holes or divots in the barricade here. And by the time they notice, and by the time they actually see you, you're going to see them way ahead of time because you're going to see them. Oh shoot, I fell. Okay, you're gonna see them basically making the holes there. So when you see that, you can actually... Let's see if I can get back up here. There we go. So you're facing this way, correct? 
you see them hitting the barricade there. They're making basically little holes there until they finally break it down. By the time they actually see you, you spray them and you basically killed at least one of them. So that's one of the hiding spots in this map here. You can hide in there for the defending side that is. I mean we're talking we're basically going through the defending and the attacking side. Another great place is let's see, do I have I can throw my grenade. Let's see if I can throw my grenade. Oh shoot. Hostage in sight. Oh, hello, there's the hostage. So Okay, so I have no more grenades. So another place to hide is 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 through there, but let's Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's do this. Let's make a haul here. Okay, I, I, apparently I can't make a haul. So anyways, another great place to hide, if you're the defenders, is you play C4 here, you blow this wall, and you hide up there, you can actually take, shoot, basically break the glass in that window, and start taking pot shots. But do be aware that snipers will, the glaze, glass, glaze, will see you. They basically, they will see if you start shooting at them, and they will take Ten sniper positions remaining. and try to take you out through there. Also, another great hiding spot is, Five. as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the timer. Another great defending spot is right behind this. I mean, you are kind of the open, but let's see. No bullets whatsoever have penetrated the other side. So if you were to defending, and they were gonna, and let's say the hostage was the hostage is Ten down seconds. there. So if you were defending here, you will crouch down, peek over, Five seconds and watch counting. this entrance here. Do be aware though that snipers will. Well, actually, location secure. we're actually pretty well covered here. I mean, so if you were to be defending the the base of the bottom floor or even the top floor, I mean, if you were defending through there or that room or even that room over there, this right here is a great spot to take some cover behind. I mean, you, it, it's basically as good as a shield. Now, do be aware that they will throw grenades and grenades, basically. Let's see. Let's throw a C4 here. Let's see if C4 can destroy it. Let's prove this right now. Can't see. Okay, so C4 cannot destroy it. Wow, okay. So that is amazing. So definitely take cover behind here if you're basically defending any of these rooms or even down below. Take cover behind this thing. I mean, it is, it is totally worth it. I mean... I mean, I'm just spraying everything I got on there, and that's, it's not even me. That's like concrete there. So, definitely hide behind this thing. I mean, I mean, it's better than, it's as good as a shield. I mean, it doesn't even get destroyed like a shield. I mean, a shield will get destroyed if a frag grenade goes and hits it, and yeah, the shield will explode, and, and you have no more cover. As for this, not even C4 can destroy it, so I, I, I highly doubt a grenade will be able to destroy it. That, and also, this up here, right there, where that thing is, is also, like I said, is another great hiding, not hiding spot, another great defending spot. Up here in the top floor, this is a great defending spot, but do beware that when they shoot, it can go through. Because as you can tell, bullets just, like, penetrate. So do be aware that if you're taking care of behind them, make sure they don't know you're there. Another great spot is hiding, or defending, is behind the bookshelf also on the kids bedroom the kids bedroom now is a bit difficult because it's basically very cramped you got a window there you got a window there you got a window there and you got you got like let's see you got one two three you got four windows so you got yeah basically it's like a see they can shoot through there through there even through there through there so for the kids bedroom there's not many much you can actually hide. The best thing to do is leave the biohazard container there. Or we'll leave at least one or two people in the room. The rest of you should actually start roaming around or make or basically taking different positions. Maybe take a position here. If you have C4, blow a hole here. Or hide, take some cover or just start roaming. I mean, the best thing to do is actually roam around and try to catch them off guard. If you're down here in, in the main dining room, I mean, you got a window there. If you hide here, they can shoot you through there. If you hide here, you got three windows just facing directly at you. Best place to be your best chance is, like I said, get up the top of the Time bookcase. They won't expect it. Um, or even get behind over here. Five I mean, seconds remaining. If you can actually climb, no, you can't. Apparently, you can't climb that. Also, try to find like tables or 
anything that you can actually climb on top of. Let's see if we can actually climb on top of this. Can we? All right. So there will be some. There will be some cases where you can actually. Oh, oh. Like this, for example. Five seconds to insertion. If I can. If I can actually. Hot into location secure. Well, Pammy apparently. Apparently, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Aha! See? Perfect hiding spot. Not, well, not hiding spot, defending spot. Yes, granted, you're an easy target up here, but it's not like they'll be expecting it. So, try to find places where you can actually get on top of stuff. Just, best thing to do, get into a custom map like I am. Get into a custom map, explore around, test out stuff, look around, just explore the whole place. And basically, that's how you find out the best defending spots, hiding spots. I mean, this is how I found this spot here. I mean, see, you gotta. If they're spawning from the construction site, you can just, just sh like shoot the heck out of them from here. I mean, you got this whole area covered. Just be aware that snipers will shoot you. So, also, you can actually crouch down right here, or go prone here. Watch the room there. Watch up there. Just be aware, shotguns don't work when you're up here. It's, shotguns really don't work because you're at a really far distance. Downstairs, basically as of what I said, bookshelf. I mean, this this house is this area here, and basically the house itself is a very open area. There's few places you can actually hide. Those few places are usually something taken by other players. So the best thing to do is get there first. If you're a roamer, like I said, best thing to place is hide here. Get a teammate with you. Get a teammate. Have him hide over here or have him hide over here depending on which, if you want to be the one baiting the players you can run up here go over here depending which way they're coming in take some shots at them quickly run down they'll definitely chase you run this way make sure they make sure you make sure make sure they see where you're going otherwise they might end up taking this way and your and your buddy here is gonna get off caught off guard thinking that they're going to be going out that way chasing you he's going to pop his head up and bam he gets headshot so that's basically all the, the basically all the stuff that uh, how to basically defend and not basically how to defend the best defending spots the word basically the word i want to use the best defending spots on the map house and the best attacking slash snipering spots in the map house now there wasn't a lot of the attacking side considering that it's just a small it's a small map Small area, bigger maps have bigger defend, bigger defending spots, bigger attacking spots outside. For example, the bank, um, that Russian, um, that Russian build, that Russian giant building. I don't remember what it's called. Um, you have also um, Kanal. That's one of the hardest maps. I still have not yet Time mastered that. Ahead. Now that I basically went over all the best defending, all the, def I'm not gonna say best, but all the defending spots inside the map house. Let's go outside and actually talk about the good sniper spots and the best attacking. Why do I keep saying best? The one of the left. good best. One of one of the good one of the. Ten seconds. All right. Let's see. What I gotta phrase it somehow. Let's just go outside and show. I'll show you Five one of the great spots remaining. you can actually use to attack sniper or whatever. So when you're the attacking player, I'm using glaze at the moment. The best thing you want to do. Since you're a sniper, let's say you go for a sniper. You got a sniper position there. You can shoot through the windows. Also be aware they can also shoot you through the window. Also, right here. Right here is the best good spot to actually take some sniper shots. Now, you can't go further in, but anyone who's going to be standing there or basically standing there or there, or even there, you got a clear shot them. So anyone gumming, cu gumming, <laughs> coming through here is gonna get shot at. That's one of the great spots to attack from. Another great spot, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this by now. I, I mean, I see players do it all the time. I, before, I never actually saw anyone doing it besides me, but I don't know. Another great spot is the treehouse. Treehouse, you cannot go wrong with a treehouse. Treehouse is the number one spot just be aware that they will actually see you too. You got a clear line of sight into the main bedroom, the shower room, the stairs, and a bit, just a 
tad bit of the kids' bedroom. So anyone coming through here is going to get shot at. Do be aware, though, that your first shot is just basically going to hit the glass. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to hit anyone. It's just going to hit the glass. So you, what you want to do is actually quickly fire and take out the glass. Reload. Quickly aim down your sights and just wait here for anybody to come by. Now, if someone actually breached that window there, it will be perfect because you can actually start shooting their feet. So, uh, that's great. So, you got a perfect line of sight through this, this through this room here. That's one of the best um, spots to attack when you're when you're basically the attackers and you're using a sniper. Or even, even if you're using just an assault rifle, it's also good. I mean, if you have the scopes that basically allow you to zoom in farther. Another great spot to snipe from or basically take some support fire is... If I'm if if I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, if, unless it's a different map. Okay, I was wrong. Never mind. You got that one there, treehouse there, garage door there, and that's basically it from the outside. From the inside, it's just basically keeping aware <laughs> of the spots I told you of the defending spots. I mean, you got that spot. Fifteen seconds left. Also. Try to find drone holes. Drone holes are the are the best thing Ten ever. Seconds. I mean, you might actually have someone standing over a drone hole, and you can actually start shooting his legs or left. his his feet, for that matter. And yeah. Also, great spot top of the balcony of the uh, top of the um, of time. the pool of the jacuzzi. Best snipering spot. Also, best snipering spot, like I said, is up top the jacuzzi or the, the spa place. I don't know. I don't know. Is it jacuzzi spa? I really don't know. I mean, it's one of the great spots to actually snipe. Just make sure you're not standing up. Make sure you're going prone. And don't, don't go like this. Don't stay like this. You're, easy. you're an easy target. Get down. Get down like this. You got a nice view of the windows here. Shoot the windows. Get their attention. So they're all covered in hide and everything. You also got like a nice view up here. I mean, a really nice. Oh, can I shoot that window? There? Oh, apparently not. Oh, well. Anyways, that's another great spot, like I was saying, a great spot to attack. Alrighty, so that's basically all, guys. Now, I just want to say I know I've been kind of slow on uploading these videos. That is because I don't have a lot of time to actually go through every single game. I mean, I don't play a lot as often as I did when it was summer spring break or even summer break. But even then, I don't, I don't play... Rainbow Six Siege as much anymore. I got to the point where it's kind of slow now. I mean, right now my internet is kind of very slow. I lag all most of the time. So, which is one of the reasons why I have not yet done any Ten videos of Rainbow remaining. Six Siege, tips and tricks, or Rainbow Six Siege, how to use an operator. Five but I will try to bring out another Rainbow Six Siege, how to use an operator video. This one's going to be Five talk about... Secure. We're going to be talking, we're going to be using the, ba the Operator Bandit. I'm going to go a bit into detail on how to actually use Bandit. I've seen other players, they, they use Bandits to a certain point, and then they usually end up screwing up the way... I, I mean, there's no exactly, a, there's no specific way to actually play an Operator, but there is a, a, a good way you can actually use the Operator to your advantage and be able to defend basically very well without have, with, with whatever... The, what, whatever, what, with whatever um, um, specialty the operator has. For this video, we're going to be talking about bandits, so do expect that. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I know this video was kind of short. This video was kind of rushed. This video was kind of, I don't know, cheesily done. But anyways, I still want to get this video out. I don't have a lot of time, like I said, to make a lot of, it of these videos. So when I do have a chance to make these videos, it's very either very, try to done, it's done very quickly or... I try to do them to the best of my knowledge. I mean, there's going to be other people who have done videos like this before me. Other people who have even... I mean, there's probably even more hiding spots that they know that I don't know. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until then, peace out, live long and prosper. And may the force be with you. Let's actually... You know what? I never actually looked at the ground. We got blocks here. We got... Let's see. We got... They're all the same letter. Well, no, not really. Drawings. You know, I've never actually paid attention to detail on this. I've always ran over it. That's a sword. And that's a teepee. That's a banana. Or a teepee. That's a house. That is one creepy looking octopus. You got the globe. 
Hey. Very well detailed. You got a plane up there. You know, I've never actually noticed this. Got a flower there. It's, what is it? What time is it? It's 10... 10.15, or no, 10 something. 10.10. 10, I think. Hey! It's another seat. It's another octopus. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.